Hey guys, Camp Garwin here. I am in my hometown of Kenosha, Wisconsin. Well, I was going through the uptown area and I wanted to video, but I chose not to because um, I didn't want to have any issues. <laughs> um, maybe I can do it later. Um, you know, everything looks just so different. This is um, the area. It's called Library Park. And um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to say right now. Um, I guess I'm just in in shock because I, I haven't. This is, this is kind of a lot of the area that um, when there were the riots in Kenosha, they were walking down these streets down here. Um, the cemetery where my mom and dad are is down there. And I just thought I'd go down here a little bit first and see if I can get a, a good view of part of the lakefront down here on Lake Michigan. And just kinda show you, it's really, really pretty. I don't know if anyone's ever seen Lake Michigan, but it's really, it's really pretty. They really dressed up the lakefront. I don't know if it's so much down here, but further down, and I can show you. Um, it's, it's really built up. It's nice. Yeah. Wow, it looks better now. Well. It's, it's Lake Michigan. It's huge. Um, let's go down here. I'm driving kind of slow. People get kind of irritated when I drive slow. I mean, I haven't been here in, oh my gosh, since 2015. And, um, you know, kind of taking it all in. I haven't seen it in so long and it kind of, looks a little bit different. There's a lot of buildings that are taken down that used to be standing in the area that I lived in. Um, I think since the riots they've tore a lot of the stuff down because it was burnt. But um, yeah. Look at all the boats. Tons and tons and tons of boats down there. I'll just drive down there and take a look over there. And they built some condos up here that overlooks Lake Michigan. Let's see here. I'll just go over here. Yeah, this is so much different than when I lived here as a kid. I mean, it looks like this town is full of money <laughs> with all these big expensive boats and stuff down here. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty neat. Oh, I guess we can't drive down this side. So let me see. I'll be right back. I'll come back in a minute. Hang on. Okay, here's a nicer view of part of it. And all those pretty boats. Gosh, look at them all. I can zoom up a little bit. Yeah, they're really, really pretty. Really nice. Yep. Okay. Okay. And a little view of it. They call this Southport Marina. Yep. Southport Marina. to hold it and drive at the same time. They have a little train system or a little electric 
trolley, I think they call it the trolley, or I don't know, it's like a light rail kind of thing, but it's not a light rail, I don't know. But it runs on electric, you see the little thing in the back of it? Yeah, it is electric though. But they do have a trolley car too that's down, I think it goes down by the train station. The Metra goes from Kenosha to um, Chicago. You can take the Metra down there. And um, I've done that several times. That's kind of, that's kind of fun, you know. Yeah. We'll go down here a little bit further and show you a different part of the lakefront. Okay, um, I'm just going down a little bit further. All of this is so new. I don't think they had all this stuff before. This used to be the old theater that my uncle used to work at years ago. He used to be a projection, a projection, whatever. <laughs> he used to run the movies, you know. I'm gonna pull it out a little bit further. Okay, hang on, here's a, okay. I have to kind of watch where I'm going. Um, I didn't want to get caught recording while I'm driving, but I'm going slow, so. But yeah, it looks so different. Um, it looks so different than what it used to be. Let's see here. I don't even know where I am at. That's how different it is. It's kind of weird. You know, I, I grew up here. And it just looks so different that it's unrecognizable. You know, it's really, um, it's almost like a shock, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it's so nice now. Here's that little electric ride. <laughs> electric ride. Again. Now down here. Yeah, this is some more of the lakefront. A lot of times they have a... They have a big ship in here. Is this guy gonna stop? Yeah, okay. So, I heard the squealing of the brakes. Here's another little, a little shot of the, the lake front. Yeah, it's really pretty. I'll, um, I'll go out for a minute and I gotta go across the street and park though, I think, cause there's no parking on this side of the street. Um, let's see if I can go down here a little bit further. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. I'm sorry. Hold on. Okay. I just decided to get out of the car for just a minute and um, kind of show a better view of it. You know, this is, this is pretty nice. Yeah, that other part of the town that I showed you on the other side, like I said, it just looks so unrecognizable that it's been so many years since I've been down here. But um, my dad used to go fishing on this pier. He used to sit right, right over there and catch the fish. Yep. Yes, he... He used to be called the Great White Fisherman. <laughs> yep. Like I say, it's been so, so many years since I've been here. It just looks totally different. Well, I don't know if um, you could hear that in the background. Some little girl was cussing. Yeah. yeah. So, I don't know. I don't have an editing program, but sorry about that. 
Okay, so let's go down here a little bit. This used to be the Holiday Inn. <laughs> we used to go dancing down in the lower level when I was young. Go out, the people out there and eat. <laughs> Get little restaurants. A lot of this didn't used to be here when uh, when I lived here. Hope I'm getting this in the shot because I'm driving. So okay, let's see here. People are getting totally impatient with me. There's a motorcycle behind me, kind of revving up his stuff. And we used to go here at nighttime. This is Marina Gardens. It's a little restaurant. We used to go after the bars closed and we would go out to eat. Yep, we'd be out there till four o'clock in the morning. And this is this is what they call the boathouse restaurant. This is a good little restaurant. Um, a lady that uh, I used to, um, okay, a lady that I used to work with, I took her out to that restaurant. Probably, oh, I don't know, it's been a few years now, but she's passed away since she was about 90 something years old when she passed away. And she used to live not too far from here. And um, I would go stay with her when I came into town. Oh, somebody's throwing something out here. What is it? What the heck are you doing, dude? Oh my gosh. He's like yelling at me. He's throwing potato chips or something in the road. I don't know. I couldn't tell what it was. People, look at how impatient people are. Look at this. You know, you're supposed to be going slow down here, but no, nope, they don't care. Look at how fast they're going. Oh. And this is what's called Simmons Island. And this is where they, um, they have the fireworks. They shoot off the fireworks here down by the lake every year. Unless it's raining, of course, you know. But, um, yeah, we used to come down here and hang out. And there used to be really big boulders down by the lake. And we used to go sit on there and hang out with our friends, you know, on the weekends and stuff. And, of course, I wasn't a a big party girl kind of girl back then. Well, I'm not now, but you know, a lot of the kids used to come down here and and hang out. Yep. This kind of looks the same. They haven't really done too much with this. It's just a parking lot. And you can go on the beach, but most of the time it's not like a typical beach. It's more like, I don't know. It smells like fish, <laughs> you know, which isn't too pleasant. If you've ever smelled rotten fish, it's not, a, it's not a pleasant smell. My dad used to fish a lot and he used to, uh, you know, fillet the fish down in the basement and he would, uh, Sometimes it's not always throw the fish guts away right away. And my mom used to get so mad. She'd be like, Dave, get those fish guts out of here. Because <laughs> they would stink in a quick hurry once they, once the fish is, you know, filleted. Yep. Yeah, so. There's a, another little part. Sorry, the dirty windows. Yeah, but it's really pretty over here. They got picnic tables and stuff. And it's really pretty. Oh, this is all new too. They never used to have this little play thing down here. Yeah. I guess that's what my tax money goes to. <laughs> Even though I don't live here, I still own my parents' house here. And, um, you know, the taxes in Wisconsin, like Illinois, are very pricey you know you don't have much of a house square footage wise and you still pay like three thousand or thirty I think I paid thirty three hundred or something like that for taxes last year so yeah so that's Simmons Island so let's go down here a little bit look around down here oh 
I don't know if this is a cop or what. Hold on. Okay, no, that was Park Patrol, believe it or not. Park Patrol, and that's something new because they never had anything called Park Patrol. Did you take a picture of them jumping off the bridge? No. Yeah, these kids just jumped off the bridge. You can't believe it. What? Kids just jumped up. Hold on a minute. Why do you want to record me? I'm sorry. I'm over this way, no, but... I'm over this way. What, what do you mean? What are you recording? Kids, I, I'm, I haven't been to my hometown in like 15 years. It's changed. Yes, it has changed. Oh. Okay. I guess, I guess some kids just jumped off the bridge, according to that guy where he was throwing those potato chips in the street. He was the same guy that was throwing the chips out, probably for the birds or something, but he said that, um, oops, I hit a bump, sorry. Um, he said that the kids jumped off the bridge. So I don't know, I didn't see any kids. I was, I guess, too busy filming, so. But, oh, you know, they still got some of this. Okay, now see the, um, the big rocks? As a kid, we used to come down here. My dad and I used to go fishing down here, and I, I caught my first rainbow trout on the rocks. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, it's kind of neat. Yep, these are the big, the big boulders that uh, that we used to always come up and sit on. Yeah. They still have these. I didn't see these the last time I came down. I guess so this part. And this part in here is called Kennedy Park. Yeah, this is Kennedy Park. A lot of times they have what they call Coho Rama. So they have contests um, for people catching uh, Coho. Whoever can catch the biggest wins a prize and stuff. So yeah. Now let me go around here and I'll do a little bit more filming out here when I get out of the car. Okay, hang on. Okay, here's a distant view. I'll show you there's the beach down there. Can you see everybody on the beach? Hopefully I have it in. It's hard to see in the sunlight. And the lighthouse down there. Yep. Yeah. And there's Lake Michigan, as far as you can see. <laughs> there's a boat out there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is Kennedy Park. Yeah, and I tell you, the water on Lake Michigan is extremely cold. I don't know how these people... I mean, it's probably about 92 degrees here. And they're out there in the water. I don't know if you can see them or not. Yeah, there we are. I think that's in the screenshot there. But yeah, they're they're out there waiting around. Okay, so here down along Kennedy Park was the the cruise. <laughs> we would go down in the cars and just cruise along here and hang out and um, and a lot of times you know people after the prom or something like that would come down here and hang out and I know uh, it was a big hangout for for everyone in high school and right out of high school and you know so oh, here's a speed bump. Um, yeah, they look like they added more rocks. See the more uh, lighter colored rocks and the ones that look kind of rusty looking, those have been there for eons. And then these other ones are the newer ones. They kind of filled it up all the way through here because it didn't used to be this close to the road with all these rocks. So, but here's the other side of Kennedy Park. So imagine people coming out here and Watching the fireworks, they have a huge, huge, huge lawn. Let me roll this window down. Yeah, they have a, 
a huge area for all the way down that you can see the fireworks when they do the fireworks on the 4th of July. It's so different. It's so different out here than it is in the Midwest. I mean, in the Southwest, rather. Um, you know, they, they do fireworks over the lake so that there's no chance of, you know, getting anything, catching anything on fire because they just go right out over the lake. And as in where Phoenix, where I live now, it's kind of, you know, you gotta water your roof down or whatever if your neighbors, you know, light off fireworks. And a lot of people around where I live, they do that. And they're the illegal ones because they go up and when they go up, they gotta come down. So, so yeah, a lot of birds out there on the water. I don't know if you can see them from here. And then there's more people on the beach over here catching the catching the little little white caps. Yeah. Water's coming in pretty quick today. You see the white caps there? Yep, that's what they call them, white caps. Okay, well I'm just going along the the lake front here. I don't understand why they didn't clear off some of these weeds over here. I don't know if you can see them in the camera or not. You see the the grassy stuff by the water. Oh, they got a danger sign out there. I don't know what that's all about. Probably, it's pretty deep right in through there. That's probably why they have it like that. So people don't go out in that spot. Oops, sorry. Yeah. But yep, that's um the rest of Kennedy Park. And let's see here. I think, if I remember right, there is a fish hatchery. Oh, you know what? That's part of. Okay, so we were in Kennedy Park before, and that this part of the park is called Panoyer Park. Yeah. So I don't know where Kennedy Park ends and Panoyer Park starts, but oh, people are beeping at me. Sorry. This is, let me look in here. I think this is the fish hatchery. My dad used to take me down here. Whoops, here, let me pull over here so we can look at it really quick. Okay, hang on just a second. Okay, so if I remember right, this is where they used to, um, oops, this is where they used to hatch all the fish at hard to walk and hold this thing straight. <laughs> okay, swift current. Danger, swift current. Okay, so that's why they had that danger sign out there. Let's see here. Let's see. That's a little bit more of a longer view. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is where they had the, the fish hatchery. But as you see, there's nothing in there right now because it's summer. So I don't know if they do it in the spring or... Okay, this is, this is what it's called over here. It's called Salmon and Trout... Uh, salmon and Trout Rearing Pond. <laughs> yes, so this is, this is where they, they have the little baby fish. The salmon and the trout. Yep. See, that's the that's the sign over there. Salmon and trout rearing pond. So I guess they put them in that, you know, hatch them in here until they get big enough, and then they release them in the lake. That's pretty cool. 
Yeah. Chinook Salmon Rearing Pond. Kids Fishing Fun Shalom Center Day. 4-H Kids Fishing Day. Huh, that's cool. Kenosha Sport Fishing and Conservation Association. Pretty cool. Here's another sign. These fish rearing ponds cost $2,800 per month to operate. Please help us stock the lake for the future benefit of all. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Okay, well, we're just going up. I don't know if this is 7th Avenue. Uh, let's see. Off of 35th Street and 7th Avenue. Yep. Um, yeah. Beautiful little homes and stuff down here. Cost a mint to own one in taxes. But uh, you get a, a good view of the lake, that's for sure. A really nice view of the lake. Yeah. I think this is one of the best things about Kenosha is the lakefront. And we have another really nice park too. Um, Petrifying Springs. It's kind of like out in the country. So, yeah. It's a little bit of a drive from here. Not too far, but... Um, but it's really nice, too. Maybe if I can get a chance to go over to Pets, then I will, I will film that as well. So, I hope you enjoyed the little tour of Lake Michigan and the, the boats and, you know, the pier. And um, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Give me the thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Okay. Bye-bye.